What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Sharkey here and I'm in the garage today. Got my 07 STI, about to do a leak down test on it. Um, and we're sponsored by Bud Light now, as you can see. So go out, buy a case, chug it, and then come back and watch this video. On a real note though, we are about to do a leak down test. And quite frankly, I'm pretty nervous because um, if you know anything about Subarus, especially high horsepower ones like this, um, they like to break. They like to break a lot. Um, so, everything's been running good, but we just want to check out how healthy everything is. And shout out Tyler Lurkin, borrowed me his uh, leak down tester here. So, I went ahead and pulled the plugs out already. Um, basically, all you do is thread this into where the spark plugs go in the cylinder head. Hook one end of this up to an air hose. Hook the other end up to the uh, hose going to the spark plug hole and you put pressure in it and then you get a percentage of leak down. Alrighty, got it hooked up to cylinder number one, top dead center, 100 PSI on here and we are showing 91 PSI on here. So that is a 9% leakage on cylinder number one. Now if we refer to the chart here, air escaping from crankcase breather, defective rings or worn cylinder, Air escaping from exhaust, defective exhaust valve, air escaping from carburetor, defective intake valve, and air bubbles and radiator leaking head gasket. So, if we come over here, if I put my hand over that, I can feel a slight breeze coming out of the crankcase. So, the engine is cold currently. Um, I would assume that that would change the results if it was up to operating temperature. Also, these are total seal rings, so when it's running, I'm sure there's far less than 9% leakage in there, which is still a very acceptable number. Uh, people recommend for any race engine, 10% or less is considered healthy and safe. If we come to the exhaust, obviously there's no, nothing coming out of here, you can't hear anything and no bubbles coming out of the radiator. So we're good to go for cylinder number one. All right, cylinder number two, 100 PSI over there, 91 there. So 9% still same as cylinder number one. It may be like 90.5 actually, but close enough. So I made a little mistake there, I called that cylinder number two when in fact I believe it's one two three four so cylinder number two third cylinder I've tested 100 psi over here and about 92 there so eight percent leakage there all right so I made a few mistakes I called that cylinder number two when in fact I believe it's one two three four so Cylinder number two, but the third cylinder I've tested 100 psi over here and I was actually reading the gauge wrong too because I am just full-blown stupid today Those little marks there are two psi increments. So in fact, this is reading 94 psi Those were reading 92 or slightly above 92 so 7.5 to 8.5 percent leakage on that side last but not least Cylinder number four, we're showing about 92, so pretty good. It's the next day, it was getting pretty late last night, so I figured I'd wrap it up. Um, we've got the compression tester hooked up to cylinder number four. So, crank it over. and showing 150 psi all right cylinder number two 150 as well all right cylinder number one 150 psi as well all right, cylinder number three showing 150 PSI or maybe one under, so 149. 
Honestly, that is really good, way better than I expected. Um, to have them all within one PSI is just crazy to me. So I'm very happy, to say the least. Another thing, if you guys are looking for a great way to clean up your engine bay, these uh, Chase Bay power steering reservoir lines and then uh, coolant overflow really, really clean it up and make it look badass. Plus, super, super good quality, like top of the line. All right, guys, got everything buttoned up, letting it warm up right now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil on it. So when it's warm, oil pressure is about 35. So we got a little bit to wait. Not sure if you guys can hear the turbo right now, but it is insanely loud in here. For a filter, I run the Wix XP filter and pen grade racing oil. This is a 530. It's high in zinc and phosphorus, so it's good for the bearings and all the other wear components. And it was recommended by the engine builder. So let's do it. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. If you got any questions about the car or anything that I did to it today, drop it in the comments. I'll try to get to it. And thank you for watching.